What's up everyone, I'm Akta and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about the upcoming update this Thursday and also about next week because next week we are, we are going to have a lot of events, as summer events with a new limited hero so we are going to talk about that. So here we are on the patch note, uh, it, it's the published one and here as you can see first of all we have the banner the heroes coming this Friday in the uh, excellent and supreme wishes, um, it's a full poison banner. Uh, they are great heroes and I prepared a video against Ninja35 without Little Jack and without Nicholas with three heroes in the banner, Melot, Magdi and Dakota. You are gonna see that if you have some exclusives and a decent amount of stats on them, then you can destroy Ninja in a few seconds. He is... Uh, vulnerable, I don't know if that term exists in English though, he, took, he takes a lot of poison damage and these three heroes here are great against him, so um, stay tuned for the video. So, talk about other stuff. We are gonna have Guarantee Legend Fewer Wishes from Ju July 4th to July 7th, uh, during which you are gonna have, yeah, you know what, let me run the game and we are gonna have a look. Here, for example, on the Excellent Wishes, the PT, you need 150 summons in order to reach the PT. During the event, you are gonna need only 120 on the Excellent Wishes and 12 on the Supreme Wishes instead of 15. It's really interesting if you want to summon on this event to get more um, legendary heroes if you have a lot of summons but uh, if I was you if I were you I don't remember how to say it uh, I would keep my summons okay uh, but this is just in case we get Pauline back soon but not next week because we are gonna have a new limited hero I'm gonna talk about that right after okay so that was all for that event let's talk about other stuff so, here we are going to have summer party events from Juli July 3rd to July 10th and during which we are going to have a sign-in event, we are going to get some excellent runes, uh, an avatar, a special avatar for the summer and a 4-star hero, Gora. Gora is interesting, if you, if you don't know who is Gora, then let me show him to you. This is Gora. He is interesting early game, he is bad in end game. Uh, some players are telling that this is a great hero to finish the campaign in 7 days. Uh, I does not agree on that one. I don't agree on that one, on that one because if you want one hero only to beat the campaign within seven days to get Hezenja, Makin is the, the only DPS you need. Then after building Makin, you are gonna need a great support and you have Wim. So only using Makin, Wim and other supports uh, with some great passive and buffs, etc. You can clear the entire cap campaign between five and seven days. So um, Gora, in my opinion, is not that efficient in comparison with Mackin. Go back to the patch note here. Uh, then we are gonna have uh, this magical clear event uh, with the summer design. And on that event, it's not written here, is not, it is not shown, but we are gonna be able to get the new limited hero, Lydia. And she is not part of this patch note. Uh, on the previous patch note, uh, content creators, creators had before yesterday, uh, we had the skills of Lydia, but, uh, it's um, changing at the moment, so uh, they removed it from the patch note. We are gonna have the uh, skills of the new limited hero next week on Tuesday, uh, published on Tuesday normally, so we will have to wait to see. But new limited hero coming next week on that event, and probably you are gonna have to spend between 70 and 100 euros in order to get one copy of her in that event event. But it's not written here because they uh, removed Lydia everywhere. But trust me, uh, it's gonna be real. We are gonna have a new limited hero next week. And by the way, next week we are gonna have Miracle Wishes and that time the new limited hero is gonna be on Miracle Wishes. Remember that a developer said that we are gonna have only one new uh, le legendary hero coming on the Miracle Wishes uh, in July. Maybe it's gonna be the one. Maybe it's gonna be the one. So who knows? 
So then we are going to have new space space temples uh, designed for the summer and during which we can collect one legend phantom dragon knife for free and other rewards. Uh, I am so happy to get a legendary phantom dragon eye back on that event. But there is something bad at the end of the patch note and we are going to talk about that. Uh, I mean bad for whales and krakens. Here, a holiday challenge, a classic challenge. Um, we already had that one with Ulcasta. Uh, we are going to get a ton of rewards here and a new avatar and an avatar frame on the last stages. Uh, it's going to be great for the rewards here. And apparently they added a skill up. Before we had, we had only gems. And that time also we are going to have a food. So why not? It's okay. It's great to have more food every time. Even if it's a little, to have more over time is still great. Then, as always, with the festival events, we are going to have the holiday pass, during which if we buy it for 20 euros, something like that, we can get 6 supreme wishes and 600, 1000 gems, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a few uh, potions, 25 maybe, and some food here. So pretty interesting. Without buying it, you can still have some decent amount of rewards and an epic phantom dragon eye, so it's pretty interesting. Okay, so... Uh, the reward hero of hero quest in July is gonna be Villette. Okay, Villette is Villette is not a great hero. I have her. I'm not using her today. Uh, we have so many better op options today. She needs a rework. Uh, cr clearly, she needs a rework. You can't use her anywhere. Even in the faction abyss, all the heroes are bet are better than her. So it's a bad one. I don't understand why that time they dis didn't decide to make a vote, uh, make make the community vote. Last time we had the choice, two times. We uh, decided to get Hertha and then we decided to get Huff, but that time we have no choice. I don't understand why. So, then uh, feature adjustments. Added a clear reference button in Magical Clear. I don't know what it is going to be. Uh, a clear reference, maybe... Uh, if we cleared it one time, we can repeat it directly, I don't know. Uh, then increased the limited purchase attempts of energy in Arena Store from 10 to 99. And this is great. I asked them to add that to the game. So if I show that to you at the moment on the market here, if you got, have a look to the event store here and I'm doing it, uh, this is why I'm farming the Brave Trial. I am buying a ton of stamina here. And this is so great to have some. You have a ton of stamina and you can uh, buy up to 99 every 30 days. If you are farming the, uh, the arena store, the advanced arena, you can get a lot of tokens and at the moment you are stuck at 10. Okay, you need to farm a lot, but if you have a lot of tokens, if you want to farm more during one event, it's going to be great to be finally able to buy more than 10. And during the Advanced Arena event, it's going to be great to uh, get more tokens and to buy stamina to farm uh, more in dungeon events. Uh, in my opinion, this is great because today Okmin is a bad hero, so it does you don't need to, to go and collect him. It costs so much, and same for all the stuff here. So the stamina is a great value. Here I buy I buy also some multi-battle stamina, as you can see, so it's pretty interesting to do that. So go back to the patch note. Increased the cap of preset lineups changing from 40 to 60. So if you have a look to my presets today, we have so many teams e just for PvP here, for example, if I go here, okay, I can't set up my defense now, but normally you have some lineups, four lineups, five lineups here for your defense, five lineups for your offense, so already 10 lineups for only the championship. Then you have uh, three lineups for your defense in Advanced Arena, three more for the uh, offense, one for the defense here on the Classic, one for the offense. You have three for your defense in the Guild Arena, yeah, and then you have all the PvE, okay? So today, if I show you my teams, for example, you are gonna see that I don't have a lot of space. Yeah, 40 on 40, so I have no space anymore. So it's gonna be great to have 60, 20 more. I love that. Then if we go back to the patch note, 
uh, increased the tier rewards in championship regular contests. Okay, so we are going to have more rewards. At the moment, we don't, we don't have that much. The tier rewards. Uh, that's on the first phase of the championship. I can't show that to you at the moment, but if, when you change your tier, for example, from diamond to king, then you get some gems, etc. Then they are going to increase that this Thursday. It's going to be interesting. Then they are going to adjust the ticket rules. Uh, you have 10 tickets per day. And the tickets are going to replenish to the limit and 10 is going to be the limit the next day. Because today it was a bit dead and people were complaining about that because if you have a look to the championship here, uh, we had 10 tickets and people were stacking tickets until the last day and they were ruining, basically ruining the experience of other players because of that. And that was really terrible because a lot of players who were uh, ranked maybe top 30 uh, ended up uh, top uh, outside of the top 64 and that was really bad just because people spent everything on the last day so th this that was not great that was not fair and uh, then uh, yeah that one that one is many players are going to complain i mean many whales and krakens reduced the limited purchase attempts of general exclusive pack in monthly pack from 3 to 1. I asked, I asked developers and this is the pack with the eyes. Monthly pack, period pack, monthly pack and that one. They are gonna reduce this Thursday the limit, the purchase limit from 3, they are gonna reduce it to 1 per month. So, it's bad for content creators because I, uh, thanks to the uh, vouchers I had every month uh, with the content creator program, I was able to buy eyes and to uh, showcase some heroes. Now, it, I won't be able to because I will have only one per month. Otherwise, I'm going to have to buy summons to wait until we have the banners and to summon on the banners uh, with the heroes I want to get exclusive on. Now, this is bad for me, but this is unfair for the new players, the new whales, because we have, we have had that pack three times a month since the beginning of the beta, since February last year. So, we had a huge advantage over the new players coming soon. I don't understand why they are doing that, because in my opinion, uh, they have a lot of income from that and as far as I know, nobody ever complained about that pack, so I don't get it. It seems like uh, Top Krakens of today said, okay, we want to stay at the top, so please remove that so other players can't uh, reach our power. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I'm just uh, mad in my head, but tell me what you think about that. Uh, so... Uh, seems like we are going to have to spend our money on summons only and wait for, for banners. Maybe it's a strategy because uh, soon we are going to have a new limited hero and people are stacking their summons until the new uh, until the limited hero come back. And apparently the new limited hero is coming back on Miracle Wishes. So first point, we are not going to be able to stack our excellent and supreme wishes anymore. Uh, that's super bad. Second thing, uh, we are not going to be able to buy that, these eyes to spend them on, uh, on new limited heroes. Uh, that means we are going to have to buy Miracle Wishes to get multiple times the uh, new heroes. Uh, so it's going to cost more for people to get exclusives on new heroes. I don't get it. It's not fair for me. They are doing great things sometimes. Nordak is an example, a good example of that. But other times, they are trying to grab your money. Yeah, that's the word. Always grab your money. Tell me what do you think about that in the comment below. Uh, last thing before the video ends. Here, as you can see on the championship with the big account, I am ranked. I am here in the finals. And I'm fighting against a fail. It's gonna be tough. I'm not sure I can win. Uh, clearly, 
he has better teams than mine. Uh, I'm lacking some stats, some speed on my heroes, some auras, so my teams are great because of the Sanctuary only and um, because of the exclusives, but after that... Everybody here can beat me, I'm pretty sure of that. And I know that Fail has so much good auras, so many good auras, it's just, that makes no sense. I don't have a chance, I think. Uh, I, we are gonna try, we are gonna see, but I'm not sure if I can win. Uh, I hope I can win at least two fights, but look at that. He has that hero and I don't have it. So huge advantage because of that. And then we have almost the same, yeah, we have the same heroes after that, so it's gonna depend on the stats and on the auras, but my auras sucks, so uh, probably he is gonna win. But who knows, it's completely random, we can't know in advance uh, what teams we are gonna fight against, uh, so this is completely random, we can't do nothing about that, so uh, we are gonna see tomorrow. That was all for the video, I hope you enjoyed it, if it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and then see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Okay.